again to Mr. Paul's Kingdom Kids. I, of course, am Mr. Paul, and with me is Torso Bob. Today we're going uh-huh. to... I'll take it from here this week. This is week six of the Parables of Jesus study, and we're going to be studying the parable of the mustard seed. You'll be finding out today that you don't have to be a massive slab of meat like me to get things done for the kingdom of Jesus. Just have a wee bit of faith in what he's capable of. Wow, you are really good at this. Uh, thanks. A little bit of reading goes a really long way. Okay, memory verse time. Memory verse time! Was that really necessary? Mark 4, 9. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. Mark 4, 9. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. Nizzle dush suri sa reve oh des sasij death. Nyen ruaf kram. Mark faul nen sajvisas said ho either has ears shut losin. Mark four nine. Then Jesus said, Whoever has ears should listen. Bob's for nice, thin cheese heads. You ever had cheese for years? The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. What can you say about me? I'm sorry, who said that? Down here! I'm the mustard seed! Oh, I wasn't talking specifically about you. I was just saying that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Really? How so? Well, you're one of the smallest seeds. But when you grow up, you become a huge tree that provides home for birds. I do? Amazing, isn't it? Sure, I guess, if you want to be a tree. You don't want to be a tree? And have birds sitting and chirping and eating in me all day? No thanks. You don't want to be a seed all your life, do you? Wouldn't you rather do something big with your life? You bet I do. Well, tell us. I want to be the play-by-play announcer for the Cleveland The Cleveland Indians? Go Tribe! Well, that's interesting. I never thought of a mustard seed calling baseball. But isn't that the point of the parable? You can do big things if you have faith in God. You know, you're right. God wants us to know that even though we are small, if we have faith, we can do great things. And now for a moment of silliness with Mr. Paul and Torso Bob. Wow, Bob, look at that picture. Yeah, hard to believe how long ago that was. Must have been 15, 20 years ago. You should really grow your hair back out. (sighs) Does it ever frustrate you how many things you can't do because you're a kid? You can't drive yet. You can't get a job and earn real money. You can't go places without adult supervision. You can't watch some movies. You can't play video games that are rated M for Mature. 
You can't take a vacation on your own. You can't ride the big rides at amusement parks. You can't order off the adult menu. You can't cook on the grill. You can't watch whatever you want on TV. You can't go to concerts or sporting events unless a parent takes you. And you can't stay up all night watching TV. I'm sure all of you have even more things you're not allowed to do that you could add to this list. As much fun as it is being a kid, there's a lot of waiting involved. Waiting until you're old enough for school. Waiting until summertime. Waiting until you're old enough to do this or that. You'll get there eventually, but when you're still wee ones like yourselves and you just want to drive a sports car, it can feel like that opportunity is forever away. If you felt like your life is on hold, waiting to start, today's parable is for you. Jesus gives us two parables that show us the power of faith. More importantly, they show us that just a small amount of faith, even from a small person, can have a big impact on our world. This two-for-one parable comes to you courtesy of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 31 to 33. We get two parables in just these three verses. He says, He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. He told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. Now, I know we showed one in the skit, but have you ever gotten a good look at a mustard seed? Try and hold this up here. See that little thing in my fingers there? Piece of my headphones came apart on my finger. That was that black spot. But that, that's the mustard seed. Let's give it a little dark backdrop and see if I can show it to you. You see that little thing there? Right there. That tiny thing is the mustard seed. How about the other parable? How about yeast? Have you seen yeast before? Have you ever helped one of your parents in the kitchen and maybe they popped open a pack of yeast? It's tiny. They look like powder inside the packets that we get from the store. You'd be hard pressed to single out just one tiny piece of yeast. That's how tiny they are. A little yeast is all it takes to make a small lump of dough into a full fluffy loaf of bread. Mix that yeast with some warm water, work it in some flour, let it sit, and a fist-sized ball of dough can swell up and fill a giant mixing bowl. And just as the little bit of yeast can have a big impact on dough, a tiny mustard seed can grow into a huge tree. All it needs is the right soil, some water, and sunlight, and something small becomes something very large. That's what God can do with your life, even now, even as a kid. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, You can do big things. You may still be a young kid, but our God is great, and with his help, there's no limit to what you can do. Kids can do incredible things. Kids can change the world. Phil Farnsworth was only 15 when he created his design for the electric television. A 16-year-old acrobat named George Nissen invented the trampoline. Frank Epperson was only 11 when he invented the popsicle. Hey, thanks, Frank. Chester Greenwood was 15 when he invented earmuffs. Louis Braille was 15 when he invented the Braille writing system for the blind. Have you seen that with the little bumps that you feel? What did these inventors have in common? Faith. They believed in themselves. They believed in their ideas. They believed they could make a difference in the world. And sure enough, they did. Now what Jesus' parable shows us, we don't have to have a grown-up amount of faith to do great things. Just a little faith is enough. That little bit of faith can help us to share what we believe with someone we love. That little bit of faith can lead us to a ministry where we can use our hands and talents to share God's love. A little bit of faith can change a friend, a school, a community, or even the world. God doesn't expect us to do it all. God is big and strong, and if we have faith, he will make miracles happen. If we believe even just a little, God will make a way to do big things in our lives. Are you tired of waiting? Then ask God to help give you that mustard seed of faith. 
Ask him to show you how to change the world. You don't have to wait until you're grown up. You don't have to do it all on your own. Have faith, and God will do the rest. Lord, help us with our faith. As an adult, I feel like I need to ask for even more help because you point out that having the faith of a child is what it takes. When we get older, sometimes we, we can lose that aspect of faith, trying to think through everything and worry about how smart we are and understanding instead of just having faith that if you want it done, it will get done and our brains and our muscles are not of consequence. It is all you, God. We thank you that in the end, that's the truth. It is all you. And we just have to have faith and be faithful to your calling in our lives. Amen. I have so many questions right now. Question number one. Do mustard seeds taste like mustard? Let's grab a couple here. Got a couple I spilled on the desk. Not particularly. They do have a little zest to them, though. Yeah. Now for the real questions. As a point of reference, since we're talking about this faith of a mustard seed thing, do you remember how big is a mustard seed? Yeah, not not very. That tiny little mustard seed, that's all, that's all it is. But what does a mustard seed grow into, question number two? Yeah, we don't really have them growing around here naturally, but it grows into a very big tree. And then the other parable, with the yeast. What does the yeast do when you mixed it with the dough in the water? Yo, yeah, big things. It fluffies up that little lump of dough into bread. Yummy, versatile, delicious bread. So how are the seed and the yeast like faith? Yeah, exactly. That's the point of the whole thing. It only takes a little to make a lot. A tiny seed, a little yeast, you get a big tree and some delicious bread. A little faith, and we get the miracles of God. Woo! Awesome. Why do we need to have faith? I'll take a moment for some thinking time. got something. I think we need faith because even though there's certain things we can do on our own, it's nothing compared to what God can do. So if we just sit and chill on our abilities and don't worry about that and have faith in God's abilities, that's when you're really going to see the amazing things happen. We need to have that faith that he's got it and he's in control and he can do awesome things. And then we'll get to see those awesome things. He so, we need faith. We want to see these awesome things of God. How much faith do we need to do great things for God? 10,000 pounds of faith. False. No. We've been over this already. We need this tiny mustard seed amount of faith. Really nothing. Just a little bit of belief that God is what he says he is. He's all powerful. He's got a plan. It's a great plan and he can get it done. A little bit of faith in that. All right. We have completed six lessons from the parables of Jesus study. Hasn't it been wonderful getting to sit back and learn from the wisdoms of Jesus himself? How cool it must have been to be the people that got to witness it firsthand and hear these stories right from his mouth. But Thank God that we do have these stories a couple thousand years later so we can still hear them, read them for ourselves, and learn the valuable lessons from Jesus. One other lesson that we learned today, don't go eating mustard seeds. They are not delicious. All right. So if you want to view past lessons, 
or download some materials to supplement this lesson, head on out to the church website at clevelandvineyard.com. Hit it up in your favorite browser, click on the Ministries link up in the menu, then choose Kids slash Youth Ministries from the drop-down, then click the Curriculum link, and bada-boom, bada-bing, you've got videos, you have supplemental materials, you have all this at your disposal to watch at your leisure. Enjoy! Everybody, it's been my pleasure once again. Until next time, peace, love, and we out of here. This has been a presentation of Busby Productions. Ah!